Yeah, so basically what this video is, is Dan Bell, Robert City Weightlifting, teaching um, Cameron how to snatch or a progression he would use for the snatch for a beginner weightlifter. So if you're someone who's starting out maybe without a lot of informal, sorry, without a lot of formal instruction and you're trying to teach yourself how to lift and you don't have a lot of hands-on coaching, this is a progression you can use as a warm-up or as a way to reinforce the concepts of, of how to snatch efficiently and effectively. So again, we're just kind of running through it as, as Dan sees fit and I'll uh, put that uh, video in and I'll kind of give relevant explanations as I, I see fit. But yeah, here's how Dan mostly teaches the snatch. I just want you to and these are saying you can your elbows. Man. Oh, got caught in my belt. <laughs> <laughs> Just that. At that speed. Now make sure when you're sitting there, don't push your butt back. Don't do this. Yeah. You want your ass going right down between your legs. There you go. You try to keep those elbows high and wide. Holy crap! Now, let's start here in power position. Okay. Don't keep it pinned to your hip. You'll, you'll come down your thighs a little bit to keep your shoulders on top. So make sure in that power position you feel. So this is where people get messed up. Stand up and then sit. You're pulling with your arms on the way up. You're standing up with straight arm. Stand up, sit. That's a panda. Okay, make sure. Power position every time, don't get your shoulders in front of the bar, because if your shoulders are in front of the bar here, to stand up, you're going to be driving the bar forward. You should be in perfect position to drive straight up. Shoulders right on top of the bar. Um, English is the one that I took. Physics. Yeah. Now try to take that pause out of there, so it's one continuous move. The whole point of this drill, I think, well for me, but I'm sure for the Chinese too, is to limit that stand up, shrug up, drive up through the balls of the feet, and perfect the timing of finishing leg extension and move down. The thing is, Lee Dai-In that uh, ATG just put up today with a slow of 130, 140. There is literally zero time after the finish of the leg extension before he's going down. It's just like a piston. Think feet first. There you go. Good. So do that. <laughs> so a lot of that's what most people want to do. I don't ever want to reinforce being, being in an extended position and pulling up the body. That's why I almost never do high pulls. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> so I'm going straight from that same leg. Yep. And the pull is just going to stand up and do the pull on So do it from standing. So push your legs up. Legs are ramrod straight. And oh, you know, straight. Okay. Squeeze your butt. And squeeze your butt. And from there, think of moving your feet first. You're just going to pull under and stand. Okay, do that again, but faster. Squeeze your butt. And I think you can be a little faster than that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Good. One more. When you get here, shrug up. There you go. Good. You put it down. Yeah, so, <laughs> so say he does just walk in. It's this process. Yeah. And so you kind of go through the cap, like the stuff of like, here's your grip width, here's a press, here's a squ overhead squat. And then it's like, okay, as we teach the pole, it's yeah. straight down. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we know that they have decent positions. Yeah. We know they have the mobility. Gotcha. Um, 
that we've taught them the back position. Yeah. Um, and I'll start with just getting them to be able to stand up straight, feel their legs extended, feel their glutes engaged. Gotcha. Um, and I use the panda pole to start working on immediately timing when you should be moving down. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay. I've spent most of my career fighting this. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Start in power position. Stand up and don't jump up. Just stand up and immediately. Jump up. There you go. Pretty now good. I notice right here. Do a little bit this way. Just go straight up. Drive from drive the floor down through mid. There's a difference in the sound of your feet. Yeah. Straight drive yeah. the floor straight down. Mid foot. One more. Reach up hard. Good. Wow, it's really good for a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just going to be this. Stand. Yep. Try to get full extension of the legs. Out of your heels coming up. Up, down, like a piston. So what you don't want to get is this and then pulling up. So you don't want to have your leg extended and hesitate here while you pull the bar up. As soon as you get leg extension, your hips are down. Hips are down. That's it. Good. And you'll see that when they're doing them light, the Chinese lifters really exaggerate. They pull it way up under their chin. Oh, yeah. yeah, elbows and, snap really high. And you're thinking, well, nobody looks like that when they lift. Yeah. But. No lifter ever completes that movement when you tell them to do the full lift. Right. You need to go that high? Uh, you get like the lighter ones. Okay. You, you get, you know, up to your nipples. Right. When they get heavy, bottom of the rib cage works. What is it, Tom? Now, we can do that drill. So we're going to do a complex. You're going to do one panda oh, pull from the high hang, from the power position, and then one snatch. Is that from the floor or is that from no, the No, both from the power position. From the power position. Yes. <laughs> Good. Make it work. There you go. You got a little forward. So, you stand over the bar just a little too much. Right at the end, you gotta make sure you're standing up straight behind the bar. Okay. Then, then down. Stay away from the balls of the feet. Big foot, big foot. This is still a little bit soft. Drop your chin a little bit and shrug up as hard as you can. This, you may or may not get a bent elbow. I've never seen anybody get this position and have their elbow unlocked. Okay. Okay, remember, not this. Good. Good. What'd you say? <laughs> so, here, leg drive. As, punch down as hard as you can, and then aggressive as you can with your arms. Here you go. Um, here, put that down. Grab that in your stance ground. You put your hands over there. Yeah. Open this up. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Try to beat it like that. This, you get a little internally rotated, your scapula rides up and it's a little less stable. You give a little less room in the joint there for that uh, rotator cuff tendon. So that is shrug up. And it's a, little, it's a more solid position. You're getting the bar an inch back over your base without having to shift the configuration of your body. <laughs> Flat feet first. 
There you go. Okay, so keep do another one and keep the box in that seat. Get this open up. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Legs first. Good. Good. You feel how it's back just a little bit more? Yeah. Yeah, you know, when you're at your limit, that half inch makes a difference. All right. Let's, yeah, see, let's, let's, let's translate that, that to the chair. Yeah. Let's do the same thing. So we're going to start the same way. Just do, just do an upright row, elbows as high as you can. So make it brush your skin. When I say close, you should be taking your shirt off with it. Not that anyone wants to see that. <laughs> But I still remember when uh, Jess and Sarah was in, I think she was training. Yeah. She had one of those Bill baggy tank tops. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she stands and it went over her head. And she's at the bottom of the stage with her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> over her head like that. <laughs> but that bar's close. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, okay. Um, shoulders, don't squeeze, your, don't squeeze your shoulder blades back. Lift your sternum. Like push those knuckles down to the floor. Like this as long as possible. This is, this is your AC joint in the midline of your body where you can do something athletic. You can't do anything athletic from here. Okay, so nice upright row. Legs are tight, butt's tight. Okay, now, same thing. You're just going to sit straight down and pull just like that. Same thing. Yep. Okay. Uh, out of position. Okay, shoulders over a little bit, so lay over it. There you go. Now, again, don't jump. You're just going to stand up and right down into the pole. Make sure, drive those legs straight. There you go. You got a little hesitation right here to make it one continuous. That's it. Don't let that bar get away from you out here. If you're not wearing the hair off your belly, then it's not. <laughs> okay. Pull on your drill. So just do a couple of muscle planes. Okay. Pull it high as you can before you rotate. That's it. High as you can before you rotate. Okay, now we're going to do that same thing. You're going to move your feet and pull at the same time. So it looks like you're a little pre shrug here. Reach down. Should I be pulling to power or pull to like fully? Just pull to the bar and let it be what it is. Not this part, the next part. Okay. So push those legs tight, butt tight, balance is mid foot. Good. Yeah, so the original is in the... It's faster with the arm Downtown. There you go. And there's one over on University of Pittsburgh. Reach down hard. And then there's one where I live in Walmart. Good. Um, Good. That's and they're opening up one. Anyway, it's um, but, That uh, aggressive arm it action. Depends on which location because the way I teach the pull, it's really leg drive. You're not going to get maximum height and maximum yeah. speed on the bar. Yeah, just, uh, so what speed you get on the bar, you have to conserve that momentum with really aggressive arm action. Okay. The, the bar will slow, it'll slow down slower if you pull out. So, it also pulls you to the bar much better. I mean, one of, the one of the reasons Chinese can get away from that big layback in a lot of them, their arm action is so aggressive. But it can be done better. Right. Okay. There you go. You don't want to, no tension in the traps here. Make all this long with the sternum up and make sure the tension is back. Scoot you back. So now you're just going to stand up and then don't jump. Okay, so, so right here you saw how just the, just the thought of jumping or getting back to that habit, you immediately shifted forward and caused separation. Your first move has to be midfoot down. 
Any any forward and back deflection is going to separate you from the ball. Just stand up. Stand up without the bar doing this. You, have, you don't have a belly. There's nothing to go around there. And even Lasha doesn't go around his belly. <laughs> So stand up, this will squeeze tight, this will squeeze tight, then do that. Did you feel yourself do this? It's literally standing up. Like you're standing up for the, for the national anthem. Just stand up. Stand to attention. Okay, now don't go up on the balls of your feet to do that. So slow it down, just stand up and then do it forward. Closed on the bar. There you go. Stand, just stand up for it, right? Over there. Good. Now here, elbows high. You should literally feel this on your belly. So feel that. Yeah. Stand up. Down right. If you open your hand right here, it's still going to crack. Pipe your elbows on your knees. Well, if you're not trying to get it, just keep your, the bar. keep your hand on the bar and get it on your collarbone and get your elbows as high as they'll go without moving your grip. Well, keep your you don't have to keep your foot grip. Just keep your foot grip. Yeah, just keep the bar in your palm. Doing the pole, don't drive so hard you're coming off the floor. Drive your legs straight. Good. Good. Okay, clean this end. Nice. You see this little bit of separation? Get right from this power position. Just that little shift forward before you throw to get to the balls of your feet. Not much room between you and the bar. Remember, any gap between you and the bar is filled with evil. <laughs> so, it should be touching you the whole way. Good. There we go. Much better. 